I welcome the motion. It's a very basic motion, and they've been very, very modest once again, and they're calling for the abolition which has been set out of the 80 euro inpatient charge, and stopped the abominable practice of debt collectors, and to have a to follow up on the commitment in the programme for government to introduce a cap on car parking. And you're not in, Minister. And again, you have been put in this position because the senior minister is absent. And I might come back to that in a minute in relation to why he's in Dubai, in relation to the privatisation of the health service, the marketisation of it and products. And if I have a chance, I'll come back to that. But it's interesting that what this motion highlights is the inequity in our health system, not just unfortunately, with people who are suffering from cancer. And in my mind, as with all TDs, I have somebody right in my head now who's suffering from cancer, very close, and a member of my family that died. All of it irrelevant, because in a sense, we could all come in with anecdotes. And the reason that we have a cancer strategy is to avoid that, because all of the inequities have been highlighted repeatedly. That's what Slaunching Care was about when it came together to have a, a, a health service that was fit for service. And notice the word service, not a product. Not, not a company, a health service to serve everybody equally because that's what we deserve as human beings and citizens. And so it's significant that we're taking this debate today and on Friday the 4th of February is World Cancer Day, an annual event led by the Union for International Care Control, of which the National Cancer Con Control Programme and Irish Cancer Society are members. And the National Cancer Care Strategy, which is underfunded and not being implemented properly, the, one of its, um, the objective number 23, what's the objective? To reduce inequalities in five-year survival for all all cancers and they list them out in respect of which the target is to have no greater than a three percent difference in the survival rate between the, and i don't use the word deprived because i don't like it between those most seriously disadvantaged in society and those not to reduce the distinction in their survival rates and they go on in, in both 19, 2019 and 20, the official position was that survival is 11.4% lower in most disadvantaged communities that suffer are most disadvantaged patients than those who are not disadvantaged. Now, we could use this for everything that we talk about in terms of health. It's already been mentioned by Deputy Kenny in relation to the geographical differences in the country and your survival rates. And I come from Galway, supposedly a city uh, has a, a, a hospital with a... A centre of excellence where somebody very close to me could not get an MRI and was in four, stage four cancer. I won't go on because I wouldn't be able. And I'll stick to the issue in relation to this, that this motion focuses and puts the spotlight on a much bigger issue, that we are commodifying and making products out of our health system. And the senior minister is off in where? Dubai, is it? at a conference where I understand, or an expo, where I understand the difficulty was that companies are upset because they don't have enough free access into the health executive in relation to their products. When you should be at home here talking about the importance of a universal healthcare service for all, including patients who have cancer that we all know about, and not off in Dubai. And it's just simply unacceptable. We've been through all of this. We've been through all the criticisms and the denunciations of our health service. That's why we got Slauncher Care. Roshin Chartal as chairperson did a great job and so did the committee in producing that so we could avoid these type of excuse for debates in giving anecdotes about who suffered in my family, which is really important. I'm not belittling it at all, but we should be beyond that in terms of the strategy and implementing it. And that's why the minister should be here and should be held to account.